Hey y'all, it's your friend D, and in this video, we're gonna be doing some meal planning. Tanya has been busy looking at the mini brand sales paper, and we're gonna help her plan out some meals only using mini brands grocery items, which means we will not be using any foodie mini brands, although it would make this challenge a lot easier. I have all of my mini brands on the table that I consider grocery items. I don't have a complete collection of any of the series, and I do have quite a few duplicates. So I think the first thing I need to do is probably start on breakfast. I went through the breakfast items and got rid of the duplicate containers and I'm left with this. There are still some duplicates like the Minute Maid. We have it in a carton and in a gallon jug. So we can probably get rid of the carton. And for the Sunny D, these are two different ones. The Juicy Juice are both apple juice. So let's get rid of the carton in that also. So these are our drink choices. And I don't think Tanja would like the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Tropical Punch for breakfast. And I don't think she would like either one of the Sunny D's for breakfast. So we'll get rid of both of those. So this is what we're left with now. So we have a mini made orange juice and a juicy juice apple juice. But is this really juice though? It actually says 100% juice. Hmm. I don't think she would drink this. So now we're down to three. We have our almond breeze, our coffee, and our orange juice. Now let's look at our food choices. We have three boxes of cereal, one box of Pop-Tarts, and a package of Morningstar veggie sausage patties. Since we have the Almond Breeze milk, I think we can keep some of the cereal. So I want to get rid of this one. I've never heard of that one. And out of these two, I would prefer the Frosted Flakes, but since she's meal planning for several meals, I think think the larger box would work in our favor so we're going to keep the golden crisp get rid of the frosted flakes for me personally pop tarts has always been a snack item for me I've never eaten these for breakfast so we're going to take those out so this is what we're left with for breakfast and I think I'm going to get rid of the orange juice she can add the almond breeze milk into her coffee as creamer as well as over a bowl of golden crisp and she'll have the sausage patty on the side. I do wish we had some bread or something to go with this, like a biscuit or a bagel. I mean, mini brands, can you make us a can of Pillsbury biscuits? Just saying. And yes, I know the KFC mini brands have biscuits in them, but we're looking for grocery items. Next, we have to pick out some snacks and right off the top, Peeps gotta go. Tanja stays very busy and is always running errands or traveling for work. So I think the chocolate has to go because if she's out and about, this might melt in the summer sun. So we'll get rid of all of the chocolate bars. Now we're left with an assortment of chewy candies, Rice Krispie treats, two canisters of suckers. Okay, that one rolled away and a mixture of candy in this bucket. We have some gum, Pringles, Cheez-Its, and some flavor ice popsicles. I think the chewy candy can go also because it will probably melt in the hot sun if she has it in her bag. So we'll get rid of all of that. So out of what's left, I do think she would want some kind of fruit, even though I think this is loaded with sugar. She might prefer the mangoes, so we'll get rid of both of the raisins. And I don't think she would like the candy here in the container, so we'll get rid of all of those and the one that rolled away. So far, we're keeping the mangoes, and I really want to keep the Rice Krispie treats. But since it is summer and she will get hot, I think she needs the flavor ice to have as a treat at home. So we'll keep those. And I think the gum would be a good on the go treat. She can have it in her purse if she just needs something really quickly. So we'll go with that. So these are her three snack options. 
Now we're moving on to lunch and dinner and it doesn't look like our dolls are gonna meet their nutritional goals. There's a lot of processed food here, so we have to come up with something. So for lunch, I think it would be okay to choose a few things instead of her eating the same thing every day because she will be eating lunch on the go some days and then some days she'll be working from home. So let's see what we can come up with. Right off the top, we can get rid of the Philadelphia cream cheese because we don't have any bagels, nor do we have any ingredients to bake a cheesecake. I think the Prego spaghetti sauce can go too because we don't have spaghetti. Does many brands make spaghetti? I don't think so. So we'll set this aside. I think I found our first option for lunch. She can have the Campbell's on the go tomato soup and pack some wheat thins. So this would be a good lunch if she has to eat at work or if she's traveling during the lunch hour, she can have this. We do have some other on the go meals that would be good for her travel days, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. And out of these three, I think the teriyaki chicken rice bowl would be better than the detox miso and the rice noodles because this one will give her some protein. For another quick meal option that she could pack on the go or just eat quickly at home, I think the Itzu Hoisin duck buns would be really good and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those correctly. Even though these items are for my doll, just for play, I did look up the nutritional facts for several of these. For these, two buns equals one servings and it's 218 calories. So she definitely have to eat a little bit more than that to get a decent lunch. So I would say three buns would probably be better for Tanja. And this would give her two lunches in this one box. I really wanted her to have a sandwich with this oven roasted turkey deli meat. But once again, many brands does not give us bread. So if you have any clue of what I can do with this, maybe I can put it with the stovetop turkey dressing. I'm not sure. If you have any ideas, let me know. I think I've come up with the first dinner option and it is the Don Miguel burritos. And we have this mild salsa, some guacamole, and some tortilla chips. So the salsa and the guacamole can be used to top off the burritos and she can have the chips on the side or as a snack after dinner if she wants to eat it with the guacamole or the salsa on its own. So I think another meal I can do is use the Spam as my meat with the jambalaya. I know, but we have to work with what we have. And I can use the beef broth to help cook the jambalaya instead of using water and this will add more flavor this is what we have left and i do need one more dinner option and for a drink i am going to keep the vimto i think you're supposed to water this down so this should last the doll a couple of days so there's not a lot of healthy choices here i think we're going to go ahead and get rid of the potato skins and the artichoke dip or spinach spinach artichoke dip we're gonna get rid of that. And let's get rid of the mozzarella sticks. The shake and bake, we can get rid of that. Can you shake and bake spam? Let me know. This is what I have left and I'm thinking we can do the deli turkey meat with the turkey stovetop stuffing and the Velveeta shells and cheese or we could do the Velveeta shells and cheese with the buffalo wings. I think that's a duplicate. And maybe the jalapeno poppers because we need some kind of vegetable. Okay, I made a decision. We're going to use the turkey meat, the stovetop, the Velveeta shells and cheese. And if she wants some extra protein, she can sprinkle some of the bacon crumbles on top of the shells and cheese. So here's Tanja's meal plan for next week. And there are a couple of days where she's going to eat leftovers. And for lunch, she's just going to have water as her beverage. But I think everything worked out. And if you were to go and buy these same items in the store for yourself, it would come to a grand total of $104.98. 
after doing this challenge, I definitely want to see many brands bring in some vegetables in the next series. Maybe some bags of frozen vegetables or even canned vegetables would be nice. Also, some bread. Really quickly, I want to thank everyone for the well wishes. My back is feeling better. I'm not at 100% yet, so I'm going to keep taking it slow and do all the things I'm supposed to do to help it recover. And as always, my friends, if you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will try my best to answer your questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye-bye.